Hello everyone. I'm Prasadi Amrasekara, Physiotherapy Students, University of Colombo. I'm here to do my study presentation. Topic is prevalence of shoulder pain, restriction of movement ranges and functional disabilities of shoulder joint among elderly people in elderly homes in Colombo district. As you know, shoulder joint is most mobile and lesser stable joint in the body. Due to the lesser stability, it is more prone to get injuries and pathological condition easily. Shoulder disorders are one of the most common problem among the elders. Aging population is rapidly increasing in world as well as in Sri Lanka. Pain, woman restriction and functional disabilities are common complication of shoulder disorders. And those complications have lead to reduce quality of life among the elderly population. The objective of this study was to identify the prevalence of shoulder pain, prevalence of restriction of movement ranges, and prevalence of functional disabilities of shoulder joint among elderly people in elderly homes in Colombo district. And other objective was to identify the relationship of shoulder pain with social demography factors. Uh, there was no any previous studies done on Sri Lanka related to this topic. Uh, so this study was a descriptive cross-sectional study was done in three elderly homes in Colombo district with 120 elderly people who aged over 60 years. Social demography interview administrated questionnaire was used to collect data of social demography factors and shoulder pain. And shoulder disability questionnaire in UK was modified after a treat modified after a pretest to collect data of functional disabilities of shoulder joint. And universal goniometer was used to measure the range of motion of shoulder joint. So next we go to the result. Uh, point prevalence of self-reported shoulder pain was 34.2% and period prevalence was uh, during last six months was 56.7%. Also, we could find that statistically significant of relationship of shoulder pain with diabetes, arthritis, and asthma, and no statistically significant of relationship of shoulder pain with gender and other factors. So this chart shows the distribution of movement restriction of each range of motion of each shoulder joint and the flexion and abduction movements were the most common movement which can be seen in normal range of motion in both shoulder joint. And the external rotation was the most commonly restricted movement of this study. Also in this study has analyzed 21 functional disabilities uh, on each side and uh, this graph shows the most commonly disabled eight functions that were difficulty lying right side, difficulty moving right arm, difficulty changing position in the bed were the most common functional disabilities of the shoulder joint and right shoulder joint was the most commonest functional disabilities can be seen than the left shoulder joint. Finally, uh, we can say the prevalence of self-reported shoulder pain in this study was higher compared to the current literature and the range of motion of all five movements in elderly people was significantly lower than the normal values. Thank you all.